This is Learning with Leela. That's cool. In today's episode, we'll be exploring some of the funky physics of non-Newtonian fluids. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Leland, I'm not entirely sure what a Newtonian fluid is. Is this video really right for me? Worry not, dear viewer. In no time, you'll be an expert as well on all fluids, Newtonian and otherwise. From our everyday experience, we're all familiar that different fluids have different properties. Some fluids, like water, are very thin and flow very easily. Some fluids, like honey, are extremely thick, resistant to flow, and delicious. Now, the technical word for how thick a fluid is, how much force it takes to get it to shear, is called viscosity. We say that thin fluids, like our water here, has a small viscosity, low viscosity. Meanwhile, our thick, resistant to flow honey has a large viscosity, a high viscosity. The technical word for fluids that taste good is still delicious. So all of this hubbub about what makes a fluid Newtonian or non-Newtonian comes down to what a fluid's viscosity depends on. I'm sure you've had the experience where you have ketchup in a bottle, and initially the ketchup can be very difficult to get out of the bottle. Before it started to flow, there's not very much shear, and it can be totally stuck. But once you introduce some shear, it can really start flowing. That property of the ketchup's viscosity getting smaller once they're shear introduced means that the ketchup is a shear thinning non-Newtonian fluid. Could you pass the shear thinning non-Newtonian fluid? Yeah, sure, man. Thanks. For the opposite effect of a shear thickening non-Newtonian fluid, we can actually create one using ingredients available in most kitchens. First, you start with some cornstarch. Add some water, and then we will stir it up. This shear thickening non-Newtonian fluid is sometimes referred to as oobleck. You might be able to see that as I pour it slowly, it looks very runny. It has a small viscosity. But as we try and move it quickly, you can see it thicken up before your eyes. Its non-Newtonian and shear thickening character imbues Ublick with the ability to dance. What do we need before any experiment? Our personal protective equipment. This is to protect my head from any overzealous Ublick. And this will help me handle the funk. So we'll proceed by pouring a little bit of our oobleck mixture into the speaker. And what's the last thing we need for dancing? Music. Drop the beat. <laughs> so what we see here is the oobleck is kind of growing some little tendrils. We have a shear that is changing in time as the speaker cone oscillates to make the sound wave. And also in space, different positions of the oobleck are experiencing different amounts of oscillation. So depending on how much shear is at a given point in the oobleck, in space and in time, it will thicken correspondingly. And we see this interesting behavior. Ah, fantastic. It danced like a fiend when subjected to the oscillations of our dubstep bass beat. So what did we learn today? We learned that viscosity is a measure of a fluid's thickness. We learned that non-Newtonian fluids have a special property that their viscosity changes as you apply a shearing force. And finally, we learned that if you're gonna go dancing, it's best to leave Sir Isaac Newton at home. <laughs> <laughs>